afternoon YouTube family how are you guys doing tonight I'm outside on the Grammy Nene homestead I should call it the grandma and grandpa home Grammy and grandpa homestead because it belongs to both of us and grandpa does a lot of the work on the outside and he's been doing a little overtime at work so he hasn't been able to do things outside and in our hometown you can't do a whole lot before the Sun gets real high and before it gets too low because we have a lot of mosquitoes a lot of mosquitoes just like I told in the story before so our yard needs a lot of work we need a good day to get out here we're trying to wait for the temperatures to cool down to kind of make the mosquitoes lay down so that we don't have much of a problem with that okay but what I want to show you is I want to show you the plans that I have for this yard this yard is only a third of an acre I've told you guys that before we live on the busiest street the main street and there's grand grandpa right there he's getting ready to do some weed eating he was just on the lawnmower and I tried to do a video but you guys couldn't hear me so you guys couldn't hear me so I had to do it again. somebody's supposed to get killed they just gonna get dead that's all I got to say let's walk around here so y'all can hear me you Lord have mercy Jesus help me. He always got to do something when I'm doing something. I love him though. Anyway, I'm going to show you this little spot of ground right here. That right there is my back door. So my kitchen is right off of that. This right here is a little spot and it's it's got these little things. I want to get the grass out of these and trim them. But I want to turn this into what would be called a kitchen garden right here. And it doesn't get sun all day long. So I couldn't grow some of the sun-loving vegetables back here. But I could do an herb garden back here. Herbs are really good and re to grow in sun and shade. So I could do herbs and a few varieties of tomatoes and a few varieties of onions. This barrel right here, it had a squash in it this year. And a friend of ours was moving uh, away and she actually gave these to me. And I got about two or three tomatoes off of that and a couple of squash off of this I was very proud of that so uh, but I'm gonna put garlic in it and let that grow for us over the winter so that I have some garlic to cook with next year because I love garlic and I want to do most of my cooking with my stuff that I grow myself these cannies are gonna come out and uh, I want to have some kind of water feature here because I would like to make a setting area that's over here clean this up and having a setting area over here and uh, but it would just be nice since I can come out from my, my utility room in my kitchen area through the back door too so a perfect place for a kitchen garden one of the things that's gonna be in there is some citronella bushes some lemongrass because I've read that those things the citrusy plants mosquitoes don't like so I'm gonna try to plant those a lot in the areas that I'm gonna be working in now I'm not going to do too much with my backyard. I have this old shed. Half of the shed is good. Half of the shed is not good. This side of the shed, there's a senior complex on the other side. And they keep hitting our shed. They keep knocking it. So this is going to have to be repaired, this side over here. So we're going to have to figure out some kind of barriers to put up that when they run into them they bump into the barriers and not into the shed and the shed was put in long years ago because this house was built in 1940 something 1940 something I believe they started building it before World War II if I'm not mistaken uh, then World War II broke out they had to leave it wasn't quite complete and then they came back and finished it so my house is fairly old but i love it it's got character in it that you don't get in the new homes and it's kind of was our dream home we've never lived in a house that's quite this big but this side of the shed i would really like to turn into a chicken coop because i've been wanting to be a chicken mama i i, I want to get chickens uh, and then i read a thing that said don't kiss your chickens and that bothered me why can't you kiss chickens they said salmonella so i'm just gonna have to blow them some sugar because uh, i'm gonna love them chickens we ain't eating them because i don't eat things I, I raise but i will eat their eggs they're fresh nice delicious eggs 
and so I'd like to have a run built here and then have some kind of way to have chicken boxes over in this corner clean this corner out and get back in there and be able to get the eggs without having to go inside every day and uh, also I want some blackberries somewhere all this mess is growing in here that ain't ain't nobody eating on it gonna get to be blackberries they're gonna it gonna be blackberries okay so now we're walking in the yard and you can see this is our backyard it's pretty big we own to the to them fence post over there and then we have a nice neighbor in the backyard she's a nice lady uh, she's a real nice back there and then uh, hold on somebody's walking by I don't want to get them on camera I told you it's the busiest street in a small town I really do live over here I'm gonna go in the front yard and if you drive by and you're and you see me you're gonna know I'm making something for YouTube but the people that don't know I'm making something for YouTube it's gonna be like look at that crazy woman she's out in the yard so now let me show you this piece of land right here is in the sunlight most of the day of course our days are getting shorter so the Sun is is right over there and it's it's already taken into a, a, a downward position but it this gets good Sun and it also gets good holds it doesn't hold water but it's get it when it rains things just grow here this grass will pull your lawn more down and pull your guts out of you while you're trying to mow it so this is a good good spot I believe and we're going to do raised beds we're going to organize it in such a way and I'd like to have a little wood fence around it so that uh, it's kind of like a little little escape of its own and we've got this great big vine here that takes over this azalea bush every summer we have to pull that out and it's forever pulling it out. We're going to try to figure out how to kill that so it don't come back. But we like to keep the, the division so that they have privacy over there at the apartments. And we have privacy over here. But we, we're going to have some kind of fence there. And then in this area, my dream is to have a glass, a small glass uh, greenhouse. But they kind of expensive. So I, I might get a one that has the plastic wrapping and have one here we may have to build one but I'd like to have that be a gra a greenhouse all of this takes money and uh, and faith I got faith I got lots of faith I'm rich in faith God's always been good to me he's always provided for me and done wonderful things for me uh, I was saying er saying to somebody earlier today I was a lonely woman at one time and all of my family and friends that, that knew me when I lived in Tennessee will, will know that. I, I didn't have a husband. Well, I had a husband, but I didn't have a, a good marriage. I don't want to put him down. It just, we weren't meant to be together. But he worked nights. I worked days. I was home by myself all the time. I had no children. Very, very lonely. Very lonely. And that's why I say... There's lonely people in the world, and sometimes all they have is YouTube. All they have is, you know, there's there's nobody coming knocking on their door. And uh, they watch this stuff so that they can feel like they're with somebody. And I want them to know I'm here. They can talk to me. I like to talk. All my family and friends will tell you that. Anyway, I want to tell you about these cannies. I planted six cannies in this. We've only lived in this house for three years. Two years ago, I planted six of these red candies in this flower bed right there. I prayed over them. I believe in the power of prayer. I blessed them. And God blessed these candies. And I have that many. Now, a friend of mine, I won't say his name because he might not want to be mentioned on YouTube, uh, came by and said, I need some red candies. I don't have any. So he brought me an uh, orange red leaf or this might be a yellow red leaf. I don't remember. The blooms haven't been that great on it this year. We have fed some hummingbirds though. And then this is my yellow one that he traded me. And over here, I, he's little and he, he kind of took a hit in a storm. But it's a white leaf. Can, can, I know they're canes, but I call them canes because I'm southern. But they have a white uh, rim on them. And, they, and I believe they're yellow. And I'm just excited. Because I seen bees in my garden and that's what I'm after. I want bees and I want hummingbirds and I want all kinds of little animals to come except for snakes, 
rats. Uh, I don't even mind possum because they eat ticks, but uh, if he comes at night when I'm in the house, I ain't got a problem with him. But if he's out here in the daytime, which is kind of be weird because he's nocturnal, but anyway. So right now I have a dove up on the thing. He's watching me. We have doves in this town and they are very smart. But anyway, we, uh, we, I gotta thin some of these out and take some of these out. And uh, this is our front yard. And one of my things I really wanna do, cause I live in a kind of a little white house which I might paint it a different color one of these days, but right now she's white and she's staying white because it'd be a good seven, eight hundred dollars to have this house painted. Yeah, we just got a new central air heat put in, so that ain't nothing happening for a while, but have a, a white picket fence around this. And then I'll be living the American dream. I'll have two and a half kids. Actually, I got three kids. <laughs> a dog. I don't have a cat. I have a rabbit and I have a a parakeet but I'll be living the American dream and uh, anyway just want to show you around the homestead I'll show you on the other side we have a little table out here like I said this time of year you can't sit outside and enjoy your your outside and we are really outside people uh, but I tell you why we decided to stay in this town we decided to stay in this town because there's some good folks in this town I moved up here 15 years ago and uh, I had to get to know, uh, know people all over because just Harold was all I knew. And I got a job and I met some wonderful ladies. I worked at the uh, paper here in town and I worked there for a while and then I had a baby and I stayed home and got to take care of her. That was a blessing. And then uh, I'm walking under, this is one of my favorite parts of the yard because uh, it ain't no sun over here and uh, you get some shade, but you don't stay here too long because the skeeters will eat you up They will eat you alive so anyway How you boys doing? And that's what I like about living here. We're all neighborly to each other. We're all Good to each other and if somebody falls there's ten people to help them up That's what's good about where I live. I don't say where I live because I keep it private but it's a good place to live so my daughter's been in preschool with a lot of these kids I'm walking back here because I got something I want to show you that, that's pretty it's beautiful and supposedly tomorrow it's gonna be hooked up and running and I'm so glad to have air you just don't know it's tomorrow will be one month we ain't had no air check that out isn't that the most beautiful thing you've done ever seen in your life Girl, I'm gonna come home tomorrow. I'm gonna take me a shower. I'm gonna put on a moo moo. I'm gonna pop some popcorn. And I'm gonna sit in my living room for the first time in a month and watch some TV. Netflix is wanting me to watch them. Well, I'm just kidding. But anyway, it's about the truth though, but she'll be hooked up tomorrow. I thank God for it. I thank God for that new unit that's one thing we can mark off the list of things that needs to get done this house ain't falling down by no means this house is built good it's a good made house a really good made house and me and harold fell in love with it the first time we seen it and i can host dinners and i can cook for lots of people over here but we've got now we're back to the shed see third of an acre ain't big you can walk it in about 50 steps but anyway, I got to go in the house because I am doing some cooking tonight. I'm just not going to do a video. I'm just making some turkey burgers and a salad. You guys ain't missing nothing. Uh, I'm, I mean, if you want to see me cook turkey burgers and a salad, comment. I'll do it. I'll do it. All righty. Well, I'm fixing to go in the house because uh, it ain't going to be long for the swarm of mosquitoes come and they would drain me of my blood. Eat me alive. If only mosquitoes ate fat. If mosquitoes ate fat, I'd never go inside. I'd stay outside all the time. Let them suckers eat me. But anyway, YouTube family, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and please comment. I love, I love talking. I love talking back and chatting with people. Y'all have a good night.